Hi there, welcome to the STEM Audio wall unit physical installation video. What we're gonna cover in this video is actually how to install and start using your wall device. So the first step is gonna to be to make all the necessary connections. If you go ahead and look at the connector panel of the wall unit, you'll see two very familiar connectors. One of them is the ethernet, which is our most important one. Just remember, this is both your data and your power. Make sure that you supply a PoE plus uh, power line to this. Your other connector is your USB. This connector is only important if you're gonna use this wall unit as a standalone device and allows you to plug in the device directly to a PC. If you're gonna be using this in a room with multiple devices, you don't need to worry about the USB connection and just go ahead and make that ethernet connection. Once you made that connection, give the device a minute or two to boot up. Once you plugged in the device and it powers on, you'll see the blue lights dancing from side to side. That's the device booting up. All that's left is to go ahead and place or mount your device. The wall unit can just be placed on any surface. It's got rubber feet, so you can go ahead and place it just on a credenza or whatever you have in the front of the room. Or you can go ahead and mount it on the wall, and that's when you're gonna to refer to the back of the device. Notice that you have two keyholes on it. The keyholes are designed for screwing it into a wall surface. So to do that, go ahead and grab a level, measure exactly 16 inches apart, and then put in two screws into your wall. Make sure that you're using the right screws. They need to be able to hold up up to 14 pounds of weight. Once the screws are in the wall, if you look at the top of the plastic of the device, you'll actually see two notches in the plastic. This will help you align the device with the two screws, push in, and then gently pull down. You'll feel kind of a clicking, and that's gonna be the device secured into the wall. Your other option is to go ahead and use these two VESA mount holes and that's gonna be for any type of TV mount where you can just buy an extender for any kind of sound bar. So once you've done the actual physical mounting of the device, all the cables and wires are plugged in, you're basically ready to go. All that's left now is to go ahead and set up your room on the STEM Audio ecosystem, and that we're gonna cover in a following video. Thank you very much.